Hello, everybody, and welcome to another AI Corner for the week, February 17th today. So let's just get right into it because it was a really crazy week um, for AI announcements. Um, a lot of you probably saw this already. I'm going to be uh, focusing for sure on these two um, huge AI uh, bombs that dropped on Thursday. Gemini 1.5 from Google, and then we had Sora from OpenAI both uh, kind of happening on the same day here. I am going to talk about some of the other things in addition to these two, um, but these were just massive, massive uh, announcements that uh, you don't want to make sure, you, you want to make sure you didn't uh, didn't miss um, what is happening here. So I'll be talking about these first. So uh, just briefly kind of going into Gemini 1.5 first, this is coming um, pretty crazy. It was actually just a week before Thursday Gemini 1.0 Ultra was announced by Google. And then um, Google announced the 1.5 enhancement uh, or next generation model over that on Thursday, um, kind of overshadowing itself with this announcement. Uh, this model sees some significant enhancements over 1.0. And then also notably is now kind of competing and exceeding in the capabilities of GPT-4 in a few key areas so uh uh notably here it's got kind of the, the the capability of understanding information and processing um uh and reasoning about 10 million tokens at a time so that is pretty wild there is not another model that um, really has been released with that kind of accurate um, it's called needle and haystack performance meaning uh, you can feed into the input context 10 million tokens and these are multimodal tokens. It could be text, audio, images. Um, and this model can accurately uh, recall information pinpointed in that uh, haystack, finding the needle. I'll, I'll show an example, uh, a few examples here from the demo that they uh, released. Really cool stuff. This was just showing from Google, uploading, a, I think it was a four or 500 page transcript of this Apollo 11 mission. Um, entering in the prompt, find three comedic moments, list quotes from this transcript and it was able to really just pull out those comedic moments from the transcript there. And then a multimodal example, uploading, I think it was a one hour, maybe 40, 45, 50 minute uh, Buster Keaton clip uh, movie here, uh, pairing it with the prompt, find the moment when a piece of paper is removed from the person's pocket and tell me some key information on it with the time code. And then it's able to deliver the exact time code where uh, he's kind of, uh, removing the paper and then it's extracting the text from the video. Really cool stuff. Um, it does seem like that 10 million token limit when it is released is going to be limited to 128,000 tokens or 1 million tokens for end users, um, presumably because that 10 million uh, theoretical limit comes with some intense computational um, you know, restrictions there. A lot of extra juice needed to power that. Um, but yeah, pretty wild. So this was um, quite a significant release from Google uh, with Gemini 1.5. And then really just mere hours later, um, OpenAI released Sora. So this was uh, uh, the announcement of a model that is able to create incredibly realistic, one minute long, high resolution video from a text prompt. And this one, I think I'm actually going to exit out of this presentation mode just to just to click in here and it's kind of a see it to believe it kind of thing. Uh, these video uh, outputs have already gone pretty viral, um, but here are just some of the examples. Um, you can read the text prompt here. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon animated city signage, wearing a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots, carrying a black purse. Um, you can see kind of in the Dolly 3 style of you know, uh, you can, no matter how much detail you put into the prompt here, it seems to be captured in the high resolution video. Uh, lots of really just crazy examples on the site here. Um, yeah, I, I mean, this has got to be the most mind boggling, um, the most mind boggling text to video model that we have seen so far, just the physics simulation, the shadows, the camera, um, angles, the detail, everything really getting captured in there. So yeah, from OpenAI here, really major, major uh, groundbreaking um, announcement here. Uh, 
they are this so this is not um there's no kind of release date uh, being announced here, really just collaboration. Uh, it's been released in collaboration with Red Teamers, so people trying to break the model, um, trying to see you know how it can be used for adversarial uh, purposes. Uh, probably a few key creators getting access to this now. Um, so very much still in research mode, but um, yeah, building on all of that, uh, everything that we've seen from from Dolly, uh, from GPT, uh, crazy announcements. Yeah, here from from OpenAI and Google. Um, let's jump into some of the other things that happened. Those two announcements really, I think, overshadowed a lot of the other stuff, but I do want to just kind of flip through, uh, because there were some other things that happened in the last week or so. I want to make sure that, uh, those, those aren't getting, you know, dropped here. Uh, Rec AI, uh, introducing a new model, uh, called Flash. Um, they, I, I believe their last model was called Yasa, and this is just a new kind of compact, hyper-efficient multilingual, multimodal model available at a few sizes uh, from the 7 billion to 21 billion parameter uh, range uh, out of here. So new models just uh, continuing to, to be developed by uh, parties other than you know OpenAI uh, and Google. Um, there was a team, uh, kind of collab of researchers from DeepMind and USC um, also creating a new framework called Self-Discover. So I've talked about um, this kind of there, there are techniques that can be applied to any LLM. Uh, a a uh, one that kind of was big in the headlines was chain of chain of thought reasoning. This is an improvement over that called self discover, which can get kind of an additional thirty two percent performance of uh, of reasoning from an LLM like GPT four or something else over these other methods. So this is a way that you kind of prompt it that allows the model to perform even better. So as these techniques are developed, they kind of unlock even more power and ability for models that were already very strong and getting uh, uh, getting released. So that is uh, pretty interesting there. We also had some cool movements in the open source community, Stability AI, uh, introducing stable cascades. So this is a text -to image model. Um, it has kind of a notable architecture here, um, the ability to create really, really nice um, images here. And of course, I think the, the, the main notable thing here is that it is from Stability AI. So um, it is it is coming out open source, although uh, released under um, non-commercial uh, license, I believe. Uh, Apple also coming out with an open source release. MGIE, this is an AI for image editing. <clears throat> so kind of think Photoshop. Uh, there's some, some pictures here in the bottom left. Uh, but instead of Photoshop, where you're using you know, the tools, you just use natural language. So if you want to make this uh, picture of a pizza more healthy, you just tell the system, you know, make it more healthy, and then the image will include more vegetarian uh, toppings in the output image. Uh, removing things from background, all, all that kind of thing, has been open sourced on GitHub. Uh, OpenAI also releasing a feature. Um, Two other announcements, uh, a lot more quiet than, than the Sora update, but uh, memory feature is being rolled out into ChatGPT. This gives users the ability to uh, create little, little tidbits of memory uh, that will kind of remain constant um, and keep conversational continuity as you engage with the GPTs in the platform. And you can customize these in the uh, settings. There's a new personalization uh, tab available in, in the settings, or at least it will be soon. Um, and the uh, GPTs feature is also going to have the ability for um, uh, each GPT to have their own memory. Uh, OpenAI also really uh, kind of announced that uh, also a bit a bit suddenly they terminated five state affiliated groups that were using GPT uh, for uh, for malicious purposes. Um, they have a, a memo about how they disrupted these um, actors from various countries. Um, and some of the things that they're doing to uh, to prevent this. Uh, we also have a local AI chatbot getting released by NVIDIA, um, chat with RTX. Uh, notable thing about this model is that um, it processes everything locally, interfaces with your file system, and um, yeah, it does require a GPU, uh, but a step in the direction of kind of private um, local LLMs. And then uh, final updates here uh, from, from Lambda. Uh, Series C picking up um, almost a third of a billion dollars in Series C funding um, just to expand their, they kind of had the vision of becoming a leading AI compute platform. Uh, they're expanding their AI cloud with, I think, tens of thousands of NVIDIA GPUs. 
Uh, a lot of the funding is going to go to that um, to build out infrastructure for um, AI engineering. Uh, and there was a ruling from the US uh, Patent and Trademark Office that, uh, that list last week that AI cannot be credited as an inventor on patents. Um, so only humans for now being able to hold that status. You can have an AI assist you in an invention, but AI, according to the USPTO, will not qualify as an inventor, uh, cannot hold a patent. Um, so yeah, what a wild whirlwind week for AI. Uh, thank you, and I will see you all next time.